So it's your last day in the shop today. How, how does it feel? It's a little bit surreal, I think. Um, it's a big, been a big, big decision. And uh, it's, I think until we actually go home tonight, I don't think we'll actually realise how big a decision that it's been. Can you tell us a bit about how the business got started all those years ago? Yeah, um, 120 years, we think. We haven't got exact dates. Um, my husband's family, his aunt and uncle, it was their parents that started it, and they had two shops, one with thinking back rigs and the other one in the marketplace, round about where the factory shop is now. Mm -hmm. And they started that. And they had a son called Percy, and they had Fred, and they had Doreen. Um, Percy went to war in the Second World War and he was one of the first people killed and this was his shop so their shops eventually closed and they moved into here and that was about 80 years ago mm -hmm. um, and they, they took over, she retired and then Fred and Doreen took over they never had a family um, so Michael was their closest relative so he took it over and um, when was that? that was, well he's been here since he was 14 and uh, he's 60 next year, so we've been here a long time. Um, and then after that, uh, we took it over about ourselves, I can't remember, was it about 30, uh, 30 no, about, about 35, yeah, 35. about 35 years ago. So we've been here and we've, it's changed because obviously we were tobacconists and um, confectioners as well as fruit and vegetables, so there's been yeah. some massive changes. Then we changed to pick and mix, got rid of that. And 25 years ago, I trained as a florist and we brought in flowers and we've gone, we'd specialise in weddings. Mm -hmm. And that's the side of the business that we're going to continue um, on a freelance basis. You must so, have seen an awful lot of changes lot in of the changes. time that you've been yeah. here. There's been a lot of changes in the town, a mm -hmm. um, lot of changes in the customers. We've had loyal customers, some of them for 30, 40 years. But sadly, we've lost one or two customers this year. Um, and you know, but the newer generation, it's difficult to shop. We understand that it's difficult to shop in the small shops. Um, supermarkets have, you know, it's so much easier. You just jump in your car, you buy your stuff, you put it in, you take it home. It's not the freshest, it's not the best, but I understand where people are coming from. But you know, if you want to keep a nice high street and keep individual shops, you have to support us. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's too late for us now, but you know, for the others that are here, it would be nice if they could be supported. Um, so you've been thinking about this decision for a while, have you? Well, our, our lease ends in May, so we kind of thought, well, we might sort of finish round about Easter time. Um, but this was, you know, we, we thought, well, January and February are pretty quiet and, you know, the supermarket battle on prices has just really finished us. So we just decided, well, we just finish at Christmas, mm -hmm. go on a bit of a high. Yeah. So that's what we've done. Um, and so Michael, are there some things that you won't miss about about the business? Um, <laughs> early mornings. Yeah. No, we won't miss the early mornings. We'll be. Um, um, to, it's a way of life. I won't be. I'm not a lie in her, but we um, we will be doing other things, you know. So we'll, uh, yeah, that. But I will miss the customers and the ones past and present. And all that, but yeah, you must have made a lot of friends. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's been a big, a big heave this one, but. It's time to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. And what would you say to other uh, businesses, small businesses like yourselves, who are uh, still struggling to to keep They've going? Just got to try and just well keep going as best they can, and just try and you know stay positive, and really to help each other, not sort of think oh they're selling that down the road and we've got that, and you've got to help each other. You you know you've got to you know say look you know if you're struggling you know try and you know sort of maybe you know open the same hours as each other and you know try and pass customers between each other and and if the local independent shopkeepers supported each other that's a big plus if we just got 20 percent of all of the people that had given us good wishes as regular customers we wouldn't have needed to close mm -hmm. um but you know we've got this it's big overheads um you know rent rates electricity you know things just small things like credit card machine and you know all of that sort of thing they're all little things that mount up and when you haven't got a backup of five or six other stores that can help you with the online sales then you know you, you, you don't stand a chance really and what sort of reaction have you had from your customers since they've heard the news oh they're shocked, shocked. Mm -hmm. yeah complete shock. shock complete yeah. shock and the i think some of them re still can't believe it and um, they're, they're shocked Yes, and a year when a lot of other 
um, long established businesses and mm-hmm. Morpeth have uh, disappeared off the That's high street. Right, yeah. it's, uh, There's going to be some holes in the street, you know, empty shops, because there just doesn't seem to be, you know, any longevity in anybody coming in. Mm-hmm. And I think the important thing is they've got to try and stop this out of town retail. They've got to preserve the town centre because we've got a really good town centre. Yeah. Hopefully, mm-hmm. we um, the shops will get taken because. I, you know, I'm born and bred here, I've lived here all my life, and I don't like to see the high street disappear. So, you know, if people supported the local independent shops, that'll be a big, big help. So, you know, too late for us, but, you know, that's a... Uh, but you're going to f- forge on with the floristry side with of the, the flowers, business? flowers, yes. Yeah, I'm going to do, um, stick to my wedding side. So I'm just going to do wedding flowers. Um, next Later next year, we're going to organise some workshops for Christmas and things like that and do a bit of teaching so yeah so there's no putting your feet up just yet no No, but at least it means if we want to have a couple of days off or spend a little bit of time with our grandchildren we can go and do that um because i'll know exactly where the weddings are and you know um so that's what we're going to specialize in so i'm going to work from home good so yeah good luck thanks very much